Hello everyone, welcome back to Party Wipe Gaming. I am Rindus, and once more we are playing Pyre. So last we had left off, we had finished our match with the Dissidents. Um, we got a new little bat friend who is a player in the Trials, which was pretty cool. Um, and we learned something new about our little dogman friend. So, we're gonna go ahead and pick up... Oh, yeah, and anybody wondering, and you're probably not, uh, just for the sake of this game, um, I removed the camera just because it seemed like watching on the playbacks that, you know, it was still obscuring some stuff with the positioning, and I just didn't want to do that. So, this game will go without, and I'll generally keep it just to the live streams. So, if you want to see my beautiful face, that's where it'll be. Um, after beating the Dissidents in a narrow victory, yeah, it was narrow, they almost kicked our butts, that was really close. Uh, you return to the wagon to recover from the night's ordeal and figure out how best to proceed. <clears throat> you all right, Rookie? Sorry, kid, I think so, Chum. I just need a little time. Didn't count on Barker being caught up in all this. You don't owe him your conscience. You'll sort things out with him. You always do. Hmm. I do not wish to interrupt, but the dark of night is waning. Rita, would you join me outside, please? You find Jodoriel and the lone minstrel gazing into the sky above the valley, which is beginning to grow pale. You look towards the heavens. Seek now your destination. These ones are always the ones that are not there. That one's done. Do, do. It's obviously the super glowy one. <laughs> Aletha, the Bog Star. Oh, that sounds lovely. Bog Star burns bright over the fetid cavern in flagging hands. Ooh, lovely. Southern Two Star. Then, it is as I feared. We are to press further north, beneath the valley, into flagging hands. A gloom-filled, desolate region of the downside, beyond which lies the sea. A fetid sprawl of noisome, festering, unpleasant adjectives. Basically, a disgusting swamp pit. <laughs> well played. The scribes are watching over us. They will protect us wherever we go. Had you been to flagging hands, you would not say such things. The scribes have surely turned their backs on that place. If I may, the bleakness of flagging hands shall wear upon you, to be sure. I urge you to take what rest you can, for you shall need your strength upon the road ahead. Your fellow exiles agree to turn in for the remainder of the night. At dawn, you shall have to press deeper into downside. We would continue, but there's some things to say. Also, what's this? Oh, it's just Tizo's nest. He's out for a flight. Oh, hello. Hide. Okay. What's up, Rookie? You can tell something is troubling Rookie, though he seems relieved to see you. Hey, uh, chum. Listen, I gotta level with you real quick. You remember Barker, don't you? Not exactly easy to forget, though believe you me, I try. Oh. Well, he's got me by the scruff. I've been down here a little while, and as you can see by now, but Barker, he's been here longer. He's made quite the name down here. As for me, I needed help, you understand. I had certain standard to uphold. So I figured he would be the one to ask. Then Rookie hesitates. But then his familiar grin returns. So what if I owe him, though, right, chum? 
I got people back on the other side, and just between us, we're loaded. I mean, rich. My little problem with Barker, soon it's gonna take care of itself. Just as soon as my people send the money through. So, I'm telling you right here and now, don't you even worry about it. And I'm sure everything on that front is going to end up real tidy real soon. With that, he scampers off before you can respond. It seems Brookie owes a debt of some sort. What is on the line exactly, you are unsure. Anything from the book? I think we had looked at this one already. The First Exile. In the words of Gol Golanthanian, the Master General. You know, perhaps, the thrice... Oh yeah, we did read this one. Oh well. So there's nothing new for us. Alrighty. Common. Nobody leveled up, right? No, they're just inspired. Oh, a little bit. He's so cute. Continue your journey. Come Don, you find Hedwin and Jodoriel assessing the current situation with the minstrel. You are most certain. I, madam. I make no claim the journey shall be pleasant, but it is necessary. Hedwin motions to you as they continue talking. Seems we'll have some work to do once we arrive in flagging hands. Let's get going. Soon as you're ready, sooner we get there, sooner we can leave. Oh, we don't have to make a choice this time? We have not been down this region of the downside. Lone Minstrel knows a relatively safe route through the flagging hands region. Off we go! It doesn't look so bad. The little sticks look like it got faces, though. Ah, here's our choice. Consider how to proceed. The Flagging Hands region has an oppressive air about it. There has to be a path forward. Flagging Hand region proves as dismal as George Riel indicated. The air is thick and foul. How far to the pit of Milithi? All the way across the marshlands, on the coast. Reader, would you join me in the wagon for a moment? We have a matter to discuss. Teriel and Hedwin exchange looks. Then she turns to you. Go see what he wants. That's a little new object. Thank you for your time, reader. I have something for you on behalf of my clients before you is the artifact called the Beyonder Crystal. Ah, oh, shit, we're dealing with the Beyonder. We just crossed over into some Marvel territory. It's gonna get weird. An ancient artifact connected to the rites. Should the reader manage in your eyes present the crystal only then, the messenger to the lone minstrel? You observe a shimmering crystal of some sort beside the Book of Rites. As you have surmised, the triumvirates you are to confront during the rites shall stop at nothing to prevail against you. They have prepared for this for quite some time. Beyond the crystal may help ensure that you are well prepared in turn. It is a resource now at your disposal, to be used at your discretion. Gaze upon it, and you shall see what I mean. Henceforth, you may use the Beyonder Crystal. It is calling you. Beyonder Crystal sings Rooksy. Okay. Look upon the shimmering surface of the Beyonder Crystal. 
Some of your senses fail, though you retain a hold over your consciousness. An apparition peers before you, clad in the remnants of the right, but incorporeal. I sense that you are not a total idiot. Well, thank you. <laughs> she reaches for the clasp of her mask. Oh, hello. So, the night wings have returned. Oh, but where are my manners? You must be their lovely reader. Please call me Sandra. Sandra, she is a wraith, expelled for eternity within the Beyonder Crystal and bound to serve the rites. Oh, great, we got another teammate. We met briefly before, when you first beheld the book, when you were stuck inside of it. I was among the phantoms your companions banished there, no doubt stroking their egos. You listened well enough to the damned voice. Described within the book, it calls to you during the rites and reminds you of your exile. Oh, okay. Now I suggest you listen well to me. I am bound in servitude to you, along with any idiots whose freedoms happen to be intertwined with you. I know the rights better than anyone. I can whip you into shape, but if you but take advantage of my services. Oh boy, what's the cost? First, I offer scribe trials. Sandra's series of special challenges custom tailored to each of your fellow exiles. Okay. Friends, if they can pass, it shall be worth their while and yours. Secondly, my Beyonders and I avail ourselves for practice rites should you be so inclined spectral triumvirate banished for eternity and trapped within the rites no strings training competitions between your fellow exiles and sandra's beyonders or you could always come and chat and briefly free me from an eternity of boredom mm -hmm. well that's tempting you have invoked Sandra from the Beyonder Crystal. What do you wish to do? Let's talk to her first. I do appreciate the effort to make small talk with me, reader. Anything to break from the monotony of staring at the void within this place. Not that I could see it if I tried. <laughs> she laughs at this, or maybe at herself. Certainly I could make talk with my fellow Beyonders, trapped here as they are with me. You might expect that we all would keep each other company. There is just one problem there, however. We are all sick of one another. <laughs> Alright, you've been stuck in there long enough, right? She laughs again, perhaps not at her joke, but instead at her predicament. <gasps> I do exaggerate to some extent. But there is a certain truth in this. We have been stuck together long enough that we have grown more distant rather than more close. But I had best not wear out my welcome with the likes of you, as I have long since done with all the others here. So carry on for now, and if those fools with whom you travel learn something, come bring them forth to me, and I shall see to it they learn some more. Cool. Alright, so they were looking for Ruki. Indeed, it looks as though one of those failures of yours is ready for a lesson in pain. Oh. Choose among the worthy. But yeah, I was looking for Ruki, so let's... I got nothing to give him? You asked Sandra to administer one of her special trials on Ruki. What? The loudmouth Kerr? Well, I suppose he is ready, technically. Though, I have a litany of reservations about him. But let us bring him forth. Soon Ruki appears, in heed of the summons. Uh, chum? Why are you looking at me like that? Cause you're a guinea pig, Rookie. <laughs> Time to 
put him through the ringer. Alright, what's the big idea, huh? There's some kind of trick you're playing on me, chum. The apparition Sandra, Sandra then appears and unfastens her mask. Shut your snout and listen, Kerr. You answer to me here. Huh? Uba? Your mouth runs quicker than those stubby little paws. You have much to learn if you have any intent to prevail in the rites. Let us see how you fare without the benefit of your trusted comrades, save for your lovely reader. Uh, I guess it's you and me then, huh, chum, wherever you are. Oh shit! I gotta remember how to play. Oh. Alrighty. I gotta remember how to play. Nope. Spooky, come on. in time. like a safe zone or something? Why is it not casting? Oh, those are walls. I like how it can clear the corners, though. Oh, shit. I'm not okay with these speed boosts. Turn around. Oh, shit. No, nope, get dumped on. <laughs> Oh. That was 
asking too much. Oh shit, he made it. Oh, come on. Damn it, rookie. Rukiyo. That's how we do it, right, chum? It is, and you acknowledge likewise that you did not do it on your own, despite having to face my demon friends all by yourself. You passed my test, Kerr. Congratulations are in order, both to you and to your lovely reader. All oh, I think I'm lovely. Now, farewell. Downside lies far beyond the Commonwealth, at the base of an immense waterfall. Blah 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 blah. That Sandra gives, or kind of gives me the shakes. You know what I mean, Chum? Hey, what's that you got? You received Jomir's Fang for completing Rookie's trial. Well, I know who's getting that. After Ruhi casts his aura, it lingers longer than usual. Oh, nice. You earned it, buddy. Alrighty. Uh, we're hitting about the 22 minute mark. So. This will be where we wrap this one up since we did a little right, and I don't want to get into a right and run it a bit longer than normal. So, thank you all for watching. Uh, sorry, there was some no recordings over the weekend. Um, we had tried doing Doki Doki Literature Club, but that game apparently doesn't want us to record it because we lost two two recordings of it. Uh, Right around the same spot, too. It was kind of weird. I'll have to look into that. Anyways, enough excuses. Um, Pyre will be back up, and uh, there'll be more episodes of that coming throughout the week. And hopefully I can actually get a recording of Doki Doki Literature Club up, because it's an experience that everyone should enjoy. <laughs> oh, God, I'm terrified of it still. Anyways, thank you all for watching. If you liked it, be sure to like and comment down below. Uh, subscribe if you are new to the channel and check out some other videos that will pop up on the left side of the screen. Uh, thank you. Have a good day. Bye.